Well, Gary, uh, we go to the league leaders tomorrow. Uh, first of all, we'll start with Saturday's game. How would you review the performance overall? Yeah, I told you after the game Saturday uh, what my thoughts were. Um, that's done. We move on to a game on Tuesday now against the league leaders. So, uh, as I said, Saturday it's a, it's a great game to go into. Um, they've done very, very well this year, uh, and credit to them. But um, you know, they're a big club as well. So. Um, we should be up for the game. How do we go about this game? Do we approach it how we approached the midweek game last week and it was a slightly more different start because they're top of the league, they've scored lots of goals, they've lost one game all season. Mm -hmm. I won't be telling you, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait and find out. I'm not giving any uh, secrets away. No problem. Um, with Saturday, was it just, you did say this season you did expect some inconsistencies because it's such a young group. Mm -hmm. Was it was just a surprise to go from one high to just one low really quickly? Was that? Was yeah, that that's a, that's disappointing. But you know, I'm a bit long in the tooth uh, as such. You know, I've got a little bit of experience, and I've touched on it during the course of the season. It's going to be like that, um, and it's difficult to take for everybody because on the Tuesday we performed really well against League One opposition, and on the Saturday we didn't. So. You know, we have to come to terms with that, we have to recognise that um, with younger players, that's what happens. So, um, nothing's going to change in terms of that until we, uh, we get through that spell or the players get that experience in game time. So, uh, that, that's not going to change. And what an experience tomorrow night's going to be from, as you said, Saturday. It's a massive game to be involved in. Mm -hmm. Certainly a big, big club, too big for non-league, certainly. Yeah. Is it the challenge everyone's relishing, I guess? Well, I'm looking forward to it, as I said to you on Saturday, directly after the game. And um, it's, of course, it's a challenge um, going there, league leaders and stuff like that. But, um, you know, there'll be a decent crowd there as well, yeah, it'll be a good atmosphere. If you can't get yourself up for that, you're in the wrong game. And uh, Macaulay Bond up front, league top scorer. You've got plans how to stop him. No, he's a good player, uh, but he'll be, again he'll be the first one to admit that he needs his teammates around him to give him the service. Um, he's a good player, we know that, and um, we'll have to keep a close eye on him. But they've got a lot of good players within their group, you know, they've got a lot of experience as well. So uh, they've got the experience, we're in the experience, so um, it's set up really. And you signed Reece Grant as well Friday. Um, he came off the bench, was that to do because he hadn't played in a while? Yeah, I was debating whether to, to throw him in uh, the deep end without, you know, um, being on the training ground and knowing the players and stuff like that. But uh, I decided against that um, and gave him his debut from the bench. So, in fairness to him, he looked really positive when he came on as well. You know, he's, he's quick, he's bright, he's sharp. So, I'll have to decide whether we start or not on Tuesday now. Was he uh, signed because you maybe a force to been to because of injuries up front or...? Was he someone that you had an eye on for a long no, time, like I've, you said? No, I've had an eye on him for a little while now. Um, and he's quick, you know, and I like players who, who are quick. Um, obviously, we have got uh, Renz out as well. So the timing of it was perfect, you know, but I wanted to bring him into the club and uh, I'm pleased that we got him. We lost George to an injury as well, haven't we? But Adam's back in for selection Tuesday. So that give you something else to think about? Weekends give me a lot to think about. <laughs> okay, and there should be lots of fans there as well tomorrow night, as there was last year. Yeah, look, the away following has been fantastic, you know, and they've got right behind the team. And um, you know, whenever we're on the road, we get fantastic support. But we have to give them something to cheer and shout about now. You know, we gave we gave the uh, the away fans something to shout shout about on Tuesday up at Bradford. But we have to do it in the league now and. Um, you know, hopefully tomorrow night we can put in a performance. And last year as well, we got a great result there. I know you say that's all been said and done, but when you get a good result at the ground, does it certainly give you a lift when you revisit the place? Yeah, it does sometimes. Yeah, you have good teams or you know teams that you you do well against. Um, also, uh, teams that you don't do so well against. So uh, sometimes, yeah, you have good memories um, of you know stadiums and clubs that you play, play against, but. Last year was last year. It's about putting a performance on uh, on Tuesday evening. Okay, we'll choose your time, Gary. Thank, Thank you. you. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Night. Thank you.